Hey guys, I hope you've been doing great. Uh, so it has always been a point of curiosity for me to get one of those water TDS measuring devices. And just FYI, TDS stands for Total Dissolved Solids. Yes, I learned it just yesterday. And according to BIS, which is Bureau of Indian Standards, water with up to 500 ppm uh, with the TDS up to 500 ppm can be consumed. But you may note that as the TDS value increases, the taste of water changes, it becomes kind of hard, it, it's, it's, it's no longer sweet, you know. So whenever the Eureka Forbes guy changes the entire set, the TDS goes down as low as 7 and the water tastes very good at this point. But uh, it is said that you won't get all the minerals, etc, etc, if the TDS is too low. So it was in last April, that is the April of 2018, that the candles and the membrane were changed. And for the past two months, I've noticed a slight change in the taste of water. As I said, it was no longer sweet. So I called the Eureka Forbes guy and he quoted 420 just for service. No replacement of anything. And the Urban Clap fellow, he had a price of 299 for the service. I mean, Eureka may have done a better service, I don't know. But the problem is he forces you to change the entire set, that is the candles and membrane. So anyway, we are deviating from the topic. I got this tedious measuring device on Amazon for 204 rupees. It was a generic one. I leave the description uh, box link. I'm sorry, I'll leave the link in the description box below. And FYI, this was Amazon's choice when I purchased it. And as you can see, it has a nice pouch and an extra set of batteries. At first, I thought I would need to insert the batteries before the first use, but no. So let's get started and check the TDS of tap water. There we go, it's just a press of an on off button here and it gives us the TDS. 342, that is a high value. And it also shows the temperature. Just click the temp button and there we have 30.6 degrees centigrade. Well, that seems pretty accurate. So now let us go inside and check the water from the filter. And just FYI, the Urban Club guy just changed the membrane yesterday. So the TDS should be pretty low. Uh, before changing the membrane, it was 106 or something. So now as you can see, it has come down to 17. And it's kind of topping at 20 at the most, which seems pretty good. Also, one thing to remember here is that you don't have to submerge the device in water. In fact, you should not immerse the device completely in water. Just take a little bit of water in the cap and let the sensors take a tiny dip and let them do their job. That's all. So that is pretty much it guys. I found this device pretty usable and also reasonable for this price and I hope you have found the video informative. Thank you very much for watching and have a lovely day ahead. Peace.